I'm a little bit scared just because just the title of this sounds sad. It's actually, it's just not kind of hitting me. Oh, fuck. Hello. Hopefully you guys have been doing well. I've been doing okay recently, and I've been excited to, really, really excited to get to this video, uh, especially today, just because it's an artist that we haven't yet reacted to. And today we're going to be reacting to Mafu Mafu, Hated by Life Itself. Before we get into it, I wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for the, for all the love you guys have been showing me, just in general, but especially with the previous video, Dramaturgy by Eve. Such a, such a fun video to make. I, I, I loved, I loved Eve's voice. I loved everything, I loved everything about that video, man. The message. Uh, but today is Mafu Mafu's day. I'm a little bit scared just because, just the title of this sounds sad. But hey, it's always the pieces of work that make you cry that have the most meaningful messages behind them, so. Oh, also, check out this sick-ass shirt. Dude, look at that. Look at my boy, that Persona 5 Joker. My boy Akira, or Ren, whatever you want to call him. All right, let's get right into it. 68 million views. Wow. Okay, man, I'm scared. All right, I turned on subtitles right here. Someone on Instagram actually told me that this video, it's not like Miyash to use videos or Eve's videos and that like, you know, there's people and that there's a lot of visual stuff going on. It's really, it really is just all lyrics. So what I'm going to do is that for this initial watch through, I'm going to, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to talk very, very minimally, if at all. And, um, at the end I will give like my thoughts and, you know, <sighs> fuck. It sounds sad. It sounds sad right off the bat. <laughs> I'm nervous. Inochi ni kira kira wara deru. Did I do a good job? Life hates us now. That's what's going on. They say everybody should sing a song like that. Frankly, we don't care a bit if we ourselves die, but we'd be pretty sad if the people around us died. I already got goosebumps. It's like you can hear his voice really. Ah, oh man. Just right now, the overall atmosphere of it is already like really heavy. Like I'm feeling it. I don't know. It, this one more than more than Eve or even Miyash to use is really expressing pain and wow Since we've got no money we enjoy idols sleep throughout the day Never finding the meaning of our lives we still continue to breathe realizing we are nothing I feel lonely these three words is not a, is not expressive enough for this wound Carrying nothing but such obstinacy Today again, I lie on my bed alone. We who were but youths, at some point changed to young adults. I'm old, one day we go down like fallen leaves, without a soul in the world knowing our end. Obtaining an immortal body, and living our whole existence without dying. We daydream about science fictions like that. We don't care a bit if we died, but still we want others to live. They might say it is wrong to live with such contradictions. Things that are correct should stay correct. If you don't want to die, then live. If you're going to be sad, and if that's fine, then you gotta laugh. Then you gotta laugh in solitude forever. 
Never understanding what happiness is. I just hate the art community. I curse the past we have. Life hates us now. Simply cherishing the idea of the way we find. Without knowledge of what the true farewell is, life hates us now. <sighs> happiness, farewells. Affection, friendship, they're all illusions. I just die tomorrow, you know? Everything might just end up being nothing. Mornings, nights, spring and autumn, unchanging someone dies somewhere. I don't need dreams or even tomorrow. As long as you are still here, that's all we need. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh. That's actually what I want to sing about. You're reading the lyrics, right? And they're already sad. I'm tearing up. They're really sad. And then combine that with his voice. You can feel and hear the pain. Ugh. In the end, we'll die anyway. Whoa, I will. One day, all of us will rot away like falling leaves. But regardless, we live on frantically. It's actually, it's just not kind of hitting me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, that's what I was afraid of. Ah. <clears throat> wow, it's like, it's like all hitting me at once. Okay. Ah, fuck. Shouldering, shouldering our lives, frantically we live. Ah, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, voice crack, okay. Killing, struggling, laughing, shouldering it all. Live, live, live. That's it. You really get to, uh, this video did a really good job kind of showing you or kind of putting you inside the mind of somebody who I believe is uh, undergoing depression uh, and possibly suicidal thoughts. It's, 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 it's a very bleak outlook on life. Um, you know, it's, it's describing just life itself being meaningless in a way, which the ending is the same for everybody. Doesn't matter how much money you make, doesn't matter like the connections you make with loved ones, or if you make any connections at all. It doesn't matter because everybody just dies anyways. You know, if, that, if that's the fate that awaits us regardless, death, why set yourself up for pain and make connections? Why love anyone? Or why be loved by others? This line right here, frankly, we don't care a bit if we ourselves died. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever had thoughts like that. Hopefully not. But I mean, I feel like sometimes a lot, a lot of people have thoughts like that, right? Where it's like, I wouldn't mind not being here. But when you think about others, you know, the people that you've grown connected to dying in this line it's expressed, but we'd be pretty sad if the people around us died. You wouldn't want that. So when you think about others, you want others to be happy, you want others to live on. And and I'm now I'm speaking from my experience. I don't wanna like self-diagnose or anything, because I know how frustrating that can be for people that have actually been diagnosed, but there was a point where like I had this that way of thinking where I was like, I don't care what happens to me, I just want I want others to be happy. I want I wanna if I'm gonna be alive and I'm miserable, I want to at least benefit other people. As long as other people were happy, I wouldn't really care. But this was a while ago, like, I'm, I'm a lot better now. This one right here is when I, I think, is the point in the video where I really started feeling it. It's never, I mean, if you guys saw my thank you video for 1,000 subscribers, you guys will know my sentiments concerning this exact line right here. Never finding the meaning of our lives, we still continue to breathe realizing we are nothing. In my, in my thank you video, I explained how there was a period in my point in my life a couple years ago or a year and a half ago when I had to quit doing something that I uh, that I enjoy that I loved it was a part of me for I believe like 16 15 years and after I stopped doing that I had I had nothing there were a lot of times where I would wake up in the morning feeling like there was nothing 
really motivating me, never, nothing, there was no defining trait about me. Like I have to go through another day doing mundane things, you know, just the typical wake up, eat, watch TV, eat some more maybe, wait for night to fall, go back to sleep and then repeat the cycle. And not only that, you combine that with the fact that I was being made fun of for what little I had left in terms of what I still had to enjoy. And it, it just really felt that everything about me was meaningless and stupid. I never thought my attitudes towards my life, my well-being, would be so low. But uh, back to Mafu Mafu and his thoughts, they seem very bleak. Uh, maybe just, they're try he's trying to make you feel and, th and see exactly what he, what he was thinking and how he was thinking about life. Saying like how like the outcome's gonna be the same, no matter what you do, we're all gonna die anyways. However, like this last part, I'm a little conflicted as to how as, as to how to take it. Let me see. As long as you are still here, that's all we need. Yeah, that's actually what I want to sing about. Life hates us now. In the end, we'll die anyway. You will. I will. One day, all of us will rot away like fallen leaves. But regardless, we live on frantically, shouldering our lives frantic. Frantically we live, killing, struggling, laughing, shouldering it all. Live, 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 live. Just live. Ah, oh, man. That part in particular gets me, because it's like... Th at least the way I'm taking it is that it seems that maybe this whole thing is like a progression of his, uh, of his mental state. How it started at the beginning, and then how he thinks now, maybe. We're like, yes, we, we are all unfortunately going to go away, and one day we will be forgotten, you know? Even, like, let's say you were to die right now, right? Your, you know, your family, your friends would still remember you, but guess what? They're gonna die someday, and then after they're dead, you will truly be wiped off the face of the earth. Like, you won't even be in anybody's memories. Even though that seems dark, and it makes things seem meaningless and pointless as to why you try so hard, you shouldn't let that deter you from enjoying life and making connections so that when you go through not only the tough times, but the, the, the beautiful moments, like he said, struggling, laughing, it could be crying, shouldering it all, but with the support of others, it makes things a lot easier. When you finally get to those high moments of happiness and laughter, it feels that much sweeter because you're sharing them with others or with somebody else. And that's what I took away from this. And I hope you guys can take something similar away from this too. Don't feel like you're meaningless. Please don't feel like you're alone, worthless. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna tell you not to feel those things because it's, it's inevitable. But as to how you deal with them, don't seclude yourself. If people, if, so, if your friend, if your best friend, or if a loved one, if somebody wants to help you and wants to be with you, don't, don't push them away. Having at least one teammate, one person there fighting with you, alongside you or cheering you on from the sidelines gives you so much strength. I'm happy to say that nowadays I'm not by myself anymore. Or at least I, I, I don't feel that way anymore. I have two great, great friends that accept me for me. And I mean, we all accept each other for each other. And I hope to provide this sense of feeling. Not everything because when I'm on your screen, I, there's a limit to how I can help you. But I at least want you to know if you're, if you're sticking around that is my goal, is to, is to be a source of acceptance for people that don't have it because that's what I needed in, in a time where I felt worthless and alone. And something even as little as an internet boy on YouTube making videos over, over Vocaloid and other uh, utaites. Did I say it right? I'm sorry. <laughs> Utaite. I want to be the person that I wish I had in times of need. That's it. Thank you guys so, so much for, for watching, uh, and thank you for recommending me this song. Uh, it, it really does speak volumes, and I think while it is very sad, it, it points out a subject that too many people, at least where I'm from, are too afraid to point out because they think it's a touchy subject. That's why I love Japanese media, Japanese content, whether that be anime, Vocaloid, these, these utaites. They're straight from the heart. And they know that it might be a difficult subject for some people to hear or to perhaps relive, but it's needed for, cl for closure and to grow. Because if we deny this part of our lives, then we'll never truly be able to move forward. Okay, so hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.